We are following up for you this morning. It's been almost five months since St. Mary Corwin announced those plans to lay off about 300 of its employees. Only on News 5, we are hearing from the hospital and the status of those employees. And Shayla Gerardin is joining us live from Pueblo with some of that exciting news, Shayla. Bree, this is some good news. About 90% of those employees who were laid off have found jobs in these past months. And the hospital tells us this was really a team effort between the HR department and those employees. Now, hospital staff also tell us they held numerous job fairs, both internally and externally. They also conducted several workshops on resume building and interview skills. By the end of May, all but 30 had found jobs or job commitments. And while staff say making that first announcement was is not easy. They're continuing to push ahead. We've gone through the, the challenging part of it all, of course, initially with the announcement, but since then there's a sense of renewal. We're at a point now in, in the transition that we are ready to move forward and begin to build on the services that we're going to focus. Now we asked about the patients impacted by this restructuring. St. Mary Corwin tells us they are still serving patients in their emergency room and many patients have moved to Parkview Hospital across town for other services. And the hospital tells us there still is an ongoing effort to help that remaining staff that's looking for jobs find work. And of course, to stay up to date on this, check out KOA.com and the News 5 app. Watching out for you, Pueblo, Shayla Jordan, News 5. Thank you, Shayla. Tonight